We are at the finale stage of our Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Modi's visit to the Bay Area. I get a chance to now talk to Mr. Chandru Bhamra, who I've known for a very long time. And I'm excited you're a part of this movement and you are the co-chair for community. Now tell me, how did you involve the entire community and the response that you've received so far? Thank you enough for such kind words. Uh, this event is a very, very personal to me also because I have been a uh, supporter of uh, this person from, from a very long time. Uh, I first met him in 1996 when he was here and from childhood I have been working with the same organization like as a supporter of Janison and BJP and all that but right now I am also working in the community in the Bay Area for last 25 years plus. Here he is a rock star as you said no other rock star can beat him at, at current current stage, current as on today. So once we came to know that he is coming, he wants to do the event in Bay Area and do the Digital India event here. We all were very excited and we immediately got together and decided to uh, organize things and all that. And the moment we announced because of his charisma Within two, three days, we had the registration over 47,000 and we have seats only 18,000. So it's amazing, amazing things that have been happening all over the world, wherever he's going. And from that, this is not a surprise. We were expecting, but it came in so quickly that that was a surprise. You mentioned that you've been following Mr. Modi for a very long time. Now, what about Mr. Modi attracts you the most? He is a person uh, with a vision I have never seen in any politician so far in my lifetime. I am 65 and I, he is one year younger to me. I have not seen honestly the things that he has been, small, small things he has been looking at and working on it. And in Medicine Square Garden also he announced that in the past so many months that he he had spent before coming to Medicine Square Garden, he had not taken a 15 minutes rest or vacation. And with such a dedication, if somebody is working and so many uh, great thoughts about doing small, small things which India is deprived of for so many years by other politicians, I think he's a wonderful personality and I wish him best luck as he should be there for a long time. Now this has been a tremendous journey for the entire organization in the Bay Area to put together. Uh, tell me what has been your learning from this particular experience that has taken place in the last, I would say, three, four months. Uh, what have you learned the most? Uh, so far, for during the organization of this uh, whole event, I have learned one thing that if we are doing an event with a just cause and with a uh, view in mind, with a point in mind that we have to do this event successfully without disturbances. We can unite even the digital India, it may be corporate sector, it may be a regional party, it may be the community leadership or regional organizations. Everybody comes together and you will never see this thing so easily again as it is happening right now that all these organizations may be technical or maybe religious, regional are coming together without any problems. So this is a convergence of the vision of the Bay Area as well as Mr. Modi and I'm wishing you great luck and I'm sure you will come out with flying colors. You'll make us proud and the community proud. Thank you Inna and thank you Sanchari uh, the way you have been helping us and I hope you continue to do that till the event is over also and even after that. Thank you. Surely. Thank you.